up. Finals. Welcome back to the finals. Finals. Yep. We're here. We did it. Well, we did it. Almost. Almost. Well, they did it. They did it. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is the finals, the top two of the first Australian Destiny Nationals. Yep. Uh, the players have fought through eight rounds of Swiss. It's the biggest Nationals. The biggest Nationals, yeah. Eight rounds of Swiss. Uh, and then, sorry. On the <laughs> next day, we today day two we've had uh, the top eight play oh, yep. uh, best of threes, and we're taking a there look here at the trophy for national champion. There Stakes it is. are on the line right there. Although, look honestly, the trophy's cool. The trophy's cool, but you're not taking it on your flight to the US, which is also cool. Mm, I'd like wrap it around my neck. String, string get, get, some chains, get, some yeah, big, yeah. get some big get big gold chains. If I win a trip to Worlds, I want people to know that I won a trip to oh, Worlds. Oh, man. Uh, and again, as Mark has mentioned, that is the prize for this event here. A trip to play in the World Championship for Destiny, which is super awesome. Mm. Uh, thanks to FG for supplying that. Yep. Um, our players today are David Leslie <coughs> and Blake Moody. Yep. Uh, David, a Melbourne bloke from the store Gatekeeper Games. Yep. Uh, representing the team 323rd Banther Squadron. Yes. Uh, and we also have uh, Blake Moody from Western Australia, yes. Perth, the only person in the room uh, from WA. Uh, that name is wrong. Well, we'll get that fixed up. That is uh, David <laughs> on the right hand side there. <laughs> let's, uh, let's, 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 yeah. Sorry, guys. So <laughs> there it is. <laughs> um, good. All right. Yes. So we have Vader Phasma versus Kylo FN2199. Uh, David wants to go to Worlds again. Again, yep. You can tell by that shiny gold token mm. sitting next to the token he won from today's event. Mm -hmm. um, both of these players are amazing. They have awesome records. Yes. Store champs wins, Worlds finishes. Um, and we've seen them on stream in the last few rounds and we can just attest to how yeah, skilled these players are. A lot of, lot of, lot of high-level skill. Uh, I'm not sure if everyone heard that. There was a uh, rather large roar as people... Someone was just awarded one of the side event prizes, which was an entire set of... Uh, yeah, Empire, entire set of legends. Empire, Empire War. War legends, yeah. Quite the quite so the side three hundred and fifty dollars first prize for a side event. It's pretty yeah. good. Yeah, it's not too bad. Um oh, the like, general I, games I, putting I, that up as a prize. I considered dropping from commentary to, to <laughs> dropping from your job. <laughs> 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 All right, so we've got uh Carlos rolled in, done the two damage onto Phasma with his trigger. Yep. FN is in the pool now as well. Uh, David has his Phasma in the pool uh, with a Holocron die sure. there as well. And we're seeing Dark Council, a really cool card, hitting yeah, the table love that card. on Vader. Definitely performed. Maybe, maybe we can bring up the deck list here because it would be interesting to see uh, how, f uh, particularly David's deck, it's going to be interesting to see how likely Kylo is to to, to hit. There we go. So, Ooh, it's a lot of blue. It's a lot of blue. There's also a lot of grey. That is it? true. There's eight grey yeah, cards Yeah, you can't discount there. the grey. There's eight grey cards. So, so you've got eight grey cards. You've got... Uh, what is it? Six. Oh, sorry, five red. Five red. Yeah. So you've got thirteen out of the. So thir it's a thirteen seventeen split. Yeah. Yep. And so realistically, you're always going to name blue. Yeah. But you do have a good chance to miss. It'll miss. Yeah. So that's going to be a factor. It's definitely going to be a factor. The the, the chance is going to be a factor here. The list itself is incredible. Uh, I think it looks like a lot of fun to play. I would definitely enjoy playing this list. Um. On the other hand, you've got, uh, like, you know, Kylo, it's built similar to all the other, like, there's always a bit of, the Kylo lists always have a bit of, uh, a bit of give and take in them. Um, yeah, they do, because the core is, I want at least eight guns and yep. some removal yep. and some cost reducers, and then the rest is, you know, personal yep. preference. Yeah, sure. And um, so, uh, seeing Blake uh, utilizing cards like Lightsaber Throw, yes. uh, Boundless Ambition, that's another key card, Oh, actually. yeah, Boundless but, Ambition. Um, it, it, not a lot of... Honestly, if you look at his list here, not a lot of mitigation. Almost, yeah, you're almost not wrong. none. Like, yep. He has two isolations, one overconfidence, and two doubts. Oh, and two sounding alarms. But overall, when you compare, consider how many you can play in red, mm. red, red blue, mm. not much. Yeah. Um, so on the board as it stands, uh, Vader has rolled in. That's a few specials. Oh. Uh, Phasma's rolled in. That's also some guns. Uh, Dave is looking at a, at a pretty solid opening roll here on the other side of the table Blake without a turn one weapon that's not where you want to be mm. that's not where you want to be that's that that's a bad spot for an FN player that is telling it could mean that he has a lot more removal in hand um, he is keeping his cards pretty close to his chest but if we can take a peek there to sound the alarm re-rolling those two range damage uh, range damage sides into one damage and a one focus and copying the three from Vader. 
question to question to David when he's going to start playing real games. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> mate! If he wins this, if he wins this, he's flying to the US. Yeah. I think that's a, a pretty real game. Oh, that's a turn one force lightning on Phasma. Whoa! Did that happen in the movies? Uh, I don't believe you so. Don't believe so. Okay, not well, yet. Phasma kind of dis. Phasma kind of just disappeared, and you uh, never I'm saw it again. Marcus, I just got word from my producer that it definitely did happen. After she went down the garbage chute, she, she, she learned even, how to become a Sith. We don't even know what happened. <laughs> oh, she is Snoke. Yeah, there was a comic. Ba- like, it's, Phasma, it's a... Phasma is Snoke. Oh, oh, of course. Yeah, I forgot. She just takes her helmet off him, like, when she... Oh, yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. Cool. Hence why the deck's called Babysitters, because she babysits Kylo. <laughs> hey. All right, so... No, that's not even... No. I don't Does know. she babysit Darth Vader? That's a... I, I don't know. It's in the time travel edition. Yeah, maybe. Uh, so we're seeing a reroll here. Kylo hitting some one resource and one damage. Uh, we've got the two for one on FN and another resource. So there's, some, there's some interesting banter going on in the chat there in regards to fatherhood. Of, oh, it's quite a... <laughs> <laughs> so Twitch chat, I quote, uh, Do you think fatherhood is a good game? Response, it just has a super hard setting and no level cap. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Oh. oh, I love it. Yeah, look, I might stick to Destiny. <laughs> so it's probably tier one hardcore. All right, back to the Destiny. <laughs> as amusing as Twitch chat is. Um, all right, so... All right. there's the weapon. So that's six damage that went through. So eight damage has hit Kylo... Oh, sorry, FN this turn. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's a, a massive thing with David Leslie's, uh, David Leslie's Vader Phasma deck the is that it can just damage. burst out damage from the get-go. Because yeah. on your die, you've got four specials yeah. that can potentially hit yeah. three each, the, the, uh, two to three each. The, the front-loaded damage is, exactly. definitely, is definitely something to be... Uh, to and and Blake Moody has the same in his Kylo FN deck, but FN needs a bit of steam to get rolling. But once mm. it does, like the engine just starts you know, well, that's spewing the the out FN. advantage. That's the thing with the FN deck, um, yeah, for sure. But yeah, it's... It's always really telling uh, for the game how the first turn goes with either of these decks. Um, um, someone's just asking about the three damage. Can we just confirm that the that was the amount of damage dealt to FN and the two shields weren't just ignored? Because um, we did miss it, but David uh, also David there, also there were shields on there, I believe. They, so so then that means that he did eleven damage turn one because of the phasma claim ability as well. Yeah, the force lightning faders phasma claim ability. Pretty good. All right, so the damage is correct. He yep. did 11 damage. Yep. Nice. It seems pretty good. Nice. <laughs> uh, replacing the lightsaber so with the right he, button he, here. He, here's the thing, right? You almost, if you're David, or you just do it that way. All right, I was going to say, if you're David, you, you would consider rolling in and in, instantly claiming, but or you just roll the two damage and just do it vanilla. Yeah. That's fine too. Yeah. All right, well, this is game one. This has been quick. Um... Hopefully it's not indicative of the of the of, mm. of the remainder of the match. Um, yeah, like David has made a strong board state. Like he's gotten a four cost yes. upgrade out yes, and dark cancel, and he's dealt tons of damage. Yep. Like normally you do one or the other, but he's just Done. developed a massive advantage oh, in God. the first turn. Holocron's pretty good at that. It is good at that, isn't it? Holocron is pretty good at that. I'm not gonna lie. Um, the turn one force lightning is just huge. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, that's why you play a deck like this, right? Yeah. The ability to just front load damage. Yeah. You roll in dice and they're all good. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's, the, it's the reason why, I mean, so Pelp. Actually, I don't even know if Pelp. I don't even know if there was a Pelp in the room. There had to be, right? Uh, I think there were one or two in the main event. Well, that's the thing. So, but, like, that's the yeah. reason why Pelp is so good because the dice that you roll with Palpatine are just good. Yeah. They're always good. You know what I mean? Like you, you yeah. never feel bad about rolling any of those dice in that list. This is this is somewhat similar. All the dice are good, except you got four dice and two colors. Yeah, and, <laughs> and, yeah, and you're not reliant on upgrades. Yeah. You're not reliant yeah. on your upgrades. Oh well, Pelp can win without upgrades, I guess. But yeah, it requires some cooperation from your opponent. Cooperation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So there's the boundless ambition for David. I like the fact he's playing Balance Ambition yeah, in this list. Yeah, me too. List. Me too. It's not like, you know, it's traditionally only really seen play in the in the FN list, but... Well, yeah, Balance Ambition won the first Destiny Worlds uh, in Vader Raider, yep. a list that played a lot of zero-cost yep. uh, cards just to grind out some advantage. Yep. Um, and then now it's played in FN uh, as a way to chain through 
uh, upgrades and stuff as well. Um, so it's cool to see that David has just seen that that card is strong and adapting it into the shell of his uh, Vader Phasma deck. Alright, so, yeah, anyways. Uh, possible that maybe some of the damage there was miscalculated, but both players... It's a bit late now if there was a mistake, either way. Um, we can't... So, for, for reference, um, you, this game, there are things that can be uh, that can rewound, and there's things that can't. The, 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 the difference being, if a decision is made based on an outcome or something, the, that outcome can't then be changed it's it's so if players are making decisions based on a board state or based on a, on something that happened going back to then change that something is very difficult because you got you can't actually work out or calculate how much of an how much of an impact that's had on the current state of the game mm. past the point that a mistake was made yeah and because of that that's why both players it is the responsibility of both players to maintain game state um, both players are responsible for making sure they do the correct damage to each of the characters or to, to each other's characters and shields and such. And for the most part, that happens and it happens well. Um, if mistakes are made, we can only do, as, as judges, as organisers, we can only do so much. Uh, it is also important to note that the Destiny itself does not have a, any kind of uh, infraction guidelines. It doesn't have any kind of uh, rules as to say how things need to be handled. Um, there are other card games that have very stringently written, outlined rules as to when when X happens, do Y. Mm. Uh, Destiny has none of that. Anyway, so we do the best we can with what we with with our own judgments, basically. Yeah. Yep. Anyway, nonetheless, Phasma has died. Phasma's died. What? Yeah. Yep. What happened? Uh, Kyle, what happened? <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, Phasma was on, on 5 or 6 damage yeah, for the first the, turn. The, the damage um, was consistent. We were just focusing on all the damage on FN for a minute. But uh, Kyle just rolled in and took her out. He's, he's got two big dice and a right baton. Uh, so... Currently in the turn, it looks like it is... Blake's action has decided to doubt the Anakin dice. Ooh, yep. yep not Removing good. the three. Well, he couldn't pay for it. That's, That's that, it. it. Could have been a lot worse. Yeah. Could have hit the special. Doubt, doubting an Anakin die is terrifying. Yeah. There's a lot of dice in this game that you would doubt. There's a lot of doubt dice you probably shouldn't. Mm. <laughs> so, um, remind me, uh, Marcus, what does the special and dark council do? I love this card so much. <laughs> um, you draw a card. Yep. And then you re-roll it. Re-roll dark council. Yep. Cool. And then if you hit special... As per the rule, unfortunately, you can't go infinite. Yeah. As per the rules, you can only resolve a die once yep. in one action. The same die once in one action. Yeah. Um, but then again, the next turn, you yeah. roll, you, you go, go again, yep. go again, go again, draw your deck. Fair enough. Profit. Uh, that's uh, a looks like David has claimed. Uh, Blake trying to get some sneaky damage trying, in trying and then just passing the turn. Yep. No reason not to. If you're going to be discarding a card at the end of turn anyway, yeah, exactly. there is no point. If you if, if if at the end of the turn your opponent has claimed and you you have dice in the pool and you discard, you've made a mistake. Just got to squeeze that value out of them. Yeah, you've made you've made a mistake yeah. because if <laughs> discarding to re-roll is exactly the same as discarding at the end of turn but with the potential to actually benefit you in some way. Yep. All right, so Blake here is taking a look at David's discard pile. Um, as an FN player, is looking to see what colours he's seen a lot of and what he should be naming now. Yes, yeah, someone just outlining what exactly... <laughs> I asked what happened to Phasma and we've got, the, got our answer. So started with five damage, and then Kylo hit, and then the special, and then three. Yep, good. Yep, yep. That'll do it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've got an ancient lightsaber coming down on Kylo. That's a nice one. I think this is anybody's game at this point. Still is. The, the heal... The, the heal uh, action on that saber very relevant now if yep. you're if you're blake ideally you want to be able to roll in resolve the saber and then use the heal action yep. you don't want to have to be forced to utilize it before yeah you've utilized it bef like b beforehand and i think that's reasonable like right now david is showing a one damage side on his anakin die <laughs> there's a sound um alarm. that might be getting played here yeah <laughs> uh he might actually cons no he's just gonna doubt okay he's gonna doubt the right control hey. oh, that's 
ballsy. Yeah. That is ballsy. Well, that... the baton's a third blank, so it's it's a pretty good yeah, call, but, yeah, but it is it scary, hits, isn't when it? When it hits, yeah. it hits. Yeah. It hits like a right control baton. <laughs> Uh, so, let's see. Okay. <laughs> Goat. <laughs> Just asking why uh, why he's not rolling in the pit. I don't know. We'll have to ask our floor judge to... may not have noticed it yet. <laughs> <laughs> he's, been, he's been on stream more than this once. This looks, looks ornamental. Yeah. Uh, um, doesn't want to doesn't put dice all over the, all over the general. Yeah. He's, he's respecting the marketing. It's the general. Uh, the, the general. That, that is the general. The general. I'm sorry. We are general games, and he is he, the general. general. Yeah. Uh, so Blake poking him for two damage uh, with that Kylo die, uh, crushing a resource, yep. and probably just taking a shield so from the ancient lightsaber. Four damage on Anakin, six damage on Kylo, which will go down to four oh, at some point. Oh, force lightning number two. Oi, that's not bad. Yeah, doesn't have the resource to roll it in though. No. Yeah, good crush by Blake. <laughs> uh, Blake sees the. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so <laughs> um, as per the movies, well, not quite, but Anakin tends to take the low ground. Um, well, and, and well, I, Kylo I, has learned from Darth Vader's mistakes. Right? Yeah, yeah. So, so, so <laughs> Kylo is taking the high ground, allowing. <laughs> oh, oh, that's oh. hilarious! That's hilarious. For those who are just <laughs> listening to us laugh like maniacs, um, <laughs> no, our, our producer posted in the, in the Twitch chat uh, in response to the uh, the question as to why Blake does not roll in the trench, uh, we replied, he, he likes the high ground. Because he keeps rolling. <laughs> oh. oh, God. Nerd, right. nerd humor. Oh. I love it. Uh, so we missed a, like, one damage on there and the force lightning coming down. So Vader's taken five. Yep. Uh, Kylo has taken... Six, including the heel off of the Ancient Saber. Yep. And we're going into the next round. So yep. Anakin is rolling in. Here he is. Into the pit. In the low ground. Takes the low ground. Hits special two damage blank and three damage on the on the lightning. Yeah, it looks like it. Uh, lightning's two. Two damage. Yep. Uh, three damage for a resource on Anakin. All the damage. All the damages. That'll kill a... That'll kill a a Kylo. Not in, not in one Not in one hit, but it will. Um, that is pretty threatening for Blake. I think he is looking at... Uh, did did Blake already heal? He did, yeah, at the end of last turn. How is he back on six? He took some damage from um, the... He took, he took damage again? Yeah, and he can add some damage showing, I believe. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah, while we were crying. Like... <laughs> um, taking a look at Blake's Guess hand. it moves too fast, man. It does, doesn't it? it moves too damn fast. I'm seeing a copy of Sound the Alarm, oh, I Blake believe. Chess. Oh, here's a Force Illusion as well. Force Illusion, Vibra Knife, Enrage, and some other cards. So it looks like Blake will be able to weather this storm, but yep. let's see if David can push David's it. David's got a lot of... David's got a great grip. There. He does. Look, um, it's hard. It's very hard. Blake has to have a lot of things go right for him to that's take right, this game. That's right, yeah. Uh, so Blake gonna, taking a bit about which that, that's decision a, you should make. That's a good start. So it that, is a good that, start. That, that is indirect, well, indirectly removing one of uh, one of the dice showing damage. Uh, I think if you're David here, you resolve the two damage and then put the choice on Blake because the board state itself hasn't changed. Resolving two damage means that he either takes the two in order to try and block more, or he, he blocks the two and then you're left with lethal on the board. So I think resolving the two damage is the correct play here. Um, Kylo is 12 health, so it does not really matter whether it's a three or a two. Well, the two's going to get through, and the board state hasn't changed. Yeah. You're showing, you're giving less information by doing it. He's played, him playing, um, Blake playing the uh, Force Illusion, basically saying, I can't deal with your dice. So why yeah, why, give, yeah, why sure. David doesn't need to give away more information? He can just resolve the two damage and then put it back on Blake to find another action. Yeah. And we just, we're just getting attacked by our the general has just decided to fall on us in the booth. <laughs> um, taking a discard to reroll here, finding the special on Force Lightning. So he did not decide to keep the two damage. So, okay, so and he also he, found the focus. So he on rerolled. Dark he rolled. Rerolled the dark cancel and the force lightning. Yep. Okay. 
Well, I guess that's the other line. I mean, if your opponent's demonstrated that they have nothing, you might as well try and get the most value out of it. Yeah, that's right. Um, that's pretty good. Basically, that means I think what we'll see is the focus, the Force Lightning into four damage. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, with almost get with almost with almost no concern for having the dice interrupted. Well, yeah, if Blake can't uh, interact with David's dice, David can focus that to a four and present enough to punch through the Force Illusion and do lethal to Kylo. Um, It'll be interesting. I to don't see. actually know if Blake has a line here. So he's got okay. So he has ancient lightsaber, right? But I don't think it's fast enough. So if he plays no. that ancient lightsaber over the top of right control button, first action, then David resolves. No, it, well, is it enough to keep him alive? Not, not without dealing with the damage on the board. He would still die to the four damage, three damage, three damage. So David has ten damage on board. I think it is enough to keep him alive by one. By so one. if we do the three, it's four solutions. So he's got seven left. No, the four would get four solutions if that's what happens. Well, if he does the threes first. Oh, he does the three. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, do yeah, the, sure. let's do the seven. Uh, sorry, yeah, seven after the force solution. That puts it on uh, 13. Yep. At light, lightsaber brings it to 11. Yeah, so lightsaber right. can keep him alive. Yeah, right. Although Blake's play may be trying to just, like, see, he's got the three on the baton now, is to kill Anakin do it, before he can kill, 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 him, kill him back. Yeah. Uh, feel your uh, so anger. Yeah, there's a removal there from David. Like you yeah. said, David's grip is very strong. David's grip is great. He also, had, he, he also had a force illusion in hand if he needed it. Okay, yep. Well, which, which Blake saw off the Kylo yeah. trigger. Yep. Uh -huh, so, it's all good. Um. Yeah, so it might be uh, Blake's play to override the uh, right baton. Yeah, so... Will and Nathan lightsaber at this point. Look, honestly, re-rolling the two on... The two is the lowest damage that the uh, that the that the uh, what you call it can do that the, the, the yeah the force lightning can do. Yeah, I don't know why. You, at this point, I think you should just be happy to focus the lightning into the four and go with it. Yeah. Uh, also, I, no, Blake just got punished. He rerolled into two blanks. Yeah. And David Leslie activated his force lightning to remove the blank and deal oh, the damage. Oh no, he didn't reroll. Re he just activated it. Oh, that's yeah. That's what happened. And he's rerolled into another bl another special. Yes. I'm sorry. I thought David rerolled. Yeah, so Bl Blake has to re-roll that die. He can't yep. leave that in the pool. Yep. All right, now I think David can simply... F yeah, so he can do this in this order. Does the three, pays the one. Blake has to block it. Well, not yet, but Blake needs to block it uh, at some point. He'll need to block the Anakin three or that three. It doesn't matter which one. Um, he'll then take another three, which will put him to ten. And he's then dead to the the lightning. Yep. Um, David's going to play it out this way. Blake has one card, uh, two cards in hand, which we know will not help him. David doesn't, but Blake has telegraph. I think we know that. I, I believe so. I, I think we're, we're getting the same from what I haven't actually seen what the cards are. To be no. Honest, but we're getting the same message as David is here that those cards probably are not impacting the game at this point. There's one lightsaber throw. Missed that second one. Uh, still the ancient saber then. Oh, yeah. Maybe that's what I saw. Yeah, so there's the Ancient Saber. Something orange. Yep. Um, now that's still not enough to save him. Yeah. Because he brings him to five, and he's looking at another seven. Yep. So we've got... Shout out to the Lethal Runners chilling in now. Uh, <laughs> chilling in the uh, chat here. <laughs> Oh god! All right. Well, that, that, well, 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 that could stay in the Twitch chat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, the Thor Runners, a, a local team here, very, yeah. good, very good group of X-wing players and Destiny players. Uh, somewhat, somewhat rivals of David's team, the uh, oh, the, the, Banthers, the Banther boys, the Banthers. Yeah. There has been there has been some uh, tension in the past. All right, seeing um, Zethuron point out in the chat that uh, the four on Force Lightning is a pay side, um, that is entirely true, mate. Oh, um, yeah, we missed I believe the... You're correct. No, the I missed the fact that the mm. uh, Feel Your Anger was used. Yeah. That, so the, yeah, it would have worked previously, but David used the Feel Your Anger. So, so seven heals to... F yeah, so he spent one, he spent one, one resource to pay for Anakin's die, and the other resource was used 
uh, on the fear your anger. The, the line that okay. I had yep. we previously worked out earlier in the turn um, required both resources. Yeah. Uh, to be spent on damage dice. So yeah, he did had at the time I, we originally conceived of our plan uh, at his conception. Um, he had enough resources, but the board did change. So he's going to use sound the alarm to re-roll Kylo's die into a resource. Or is that a crush? Resource. Resource. Okay. Uh, David's still just playing this turn slowish. He can... The problem is he needs to... The reason why any damage here is an issue for David is if David is unable to kill Kylo this turn... If if David goes lower than two health or two two health, which is currently on seven, so if he takes any point of damage, any one point of damage, he's then dead to a dead to the roll in from Kylo. Okay. If, if Kylo yep. hits, he has to stay above two health at least until next turn. Um, and then next turn he has a very good chance of killing Kylo but he has to survive this turn, which is why he's very, very actively avoiding. If you're Blake, I think you re-roll again. I think you re-roll that dice and just try and show any damage. You have a resource now, or you have a resource, so you have a one in two of presenting damage. Yeah, bring Dealing, it to nine, and then you've got uh, the... I don't know what the... What is the card in his hand? Do we know what it was? I'm not sure. Oh, so I would have re-rolled there. I, like, I'm not sure what... Without knowing the card on the surface, I think the best play you could possibly have there is to re-roll. Yeah, we did, we did say it before. You knew what it was. It was Ancient Lightsaber and something. I, I said Lightsaber throw, but I'm not sure if that's the case. I saw it very briefly. I, I think you re-roll there and try and put David to... Or he's... Oh, wait, no, he's actually... Oh, it is Saber throw? Okay, cool. Oh, it doesn't matter, though, because David, David did the one to himself. So David could just be dead to the activation. Uh, Vader's got 11. Oh, yep. Vader has 11. All right. I'm an idiot. It's all good. Ignore me. I don't know anything about Destiny. I I'd hope you did. That's <laughs> no, all for sure, yeah. It's all show. All right, so, so in Twitch, Lando Life is pointing out that David can just roll in and claim for the win. Uh, to get the three damage on the can now, yes. Uh... Yeah, that's... Kylo that, going first. That's still oh, active. Man, it's, it's tense. So that uh, yeah, so it comes back to Blake had to do damage that turn to not die to the the roll in and claim. Yeah, that's right. So he had to. So if that is a lightsaber throw, keeping it does nothing because you're not going to have time to use it. Although this is if he hits here, but even without the hit. All right, so so Vader is going to six, seven, eight. He's going to ten, and he's showing two damage dice in the pool. Oh right, yeah, he's still fast. Oh sorry, no, David has a force, force illusion in play. Yeah, okay. Oh, man, it's tense. I think David can't lose now. Not with the force. Yeah, if he's, got, if he's got the time to roll in a claim. Well, he rolls in. No, wait a second. Well, are, they, are they both two, two damage sides showing on? Uh, one's two. One's two for a resource. Okay. So, Blake missed... Did Blake miss the, tr the Kylo activation? No, it's he didn't. It, it, no, he didn't. He's, he's blocking the two damage with the force illusion? Yep. So... No, he's blocking the two damage from the throw. So, he missed the, missed the Vader trigger. Oh, sorry. Uh, Kylo yep. trigger. Oh, so he missed he's the using, trigger. All right. uh, lightsaber throw. Yeah, he had to he had to hit that trigger if he was gonna yeah. if he was gonna win on the spot. But he's still showing lethal. Uh, another sound the alarm. Another sound the alarm, and they rerolled into damage. Blake Moody got Blake, it. Blake took it. Yeah, they rerolled into they rerolled into damage sides. So David, oh, that's, oh wow, that's nuts. Blake Moody, game one. Ooh. So, wow. That, uh, that was a tight game one. That was, that was full on. The Unlucky, I guess, on that final... What would it be? Unlucky on that final re-roll, but... Yeah. I'm in shock. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was a great game yeah, to so, It's a very close one. Um, seeing that both of, the, both of these decks are very fast and have yep. a decent amount of mitigation, so it is really anybody's game like even like david had a massive massive start mm. and uh props on blake for being able to stabilize there yeah. and bring it out in the yeah. end like by a by a fraction yeah um, yeah yeah he edged that out edged yeah. that out perfectly right at the end there that was very well played yeah no very astounding uh yeah well that was that was game one and there's a, the aggro decks that game went yeah for ages. i know a lot of play that, to that it game went for ages but yeah so they're, they're the two aggro decks that's that's uh game one yeah uh, to Blake. Uh, now, obviously, match play. 
by now. I think everyone knows it. Uh, loser of the first game is assumed to have won the role for the second game. That's right, yeah. So it will be uh, David's choice of Battlefield. I wonder uh, what he'll choose. <laughs> well, it's, it's, there's something to be said about choosing your opponent's Battlefield with the intention of playing mm. the new orders to get the special twice. Yeah, that's true. Um, it is true. You do resolve your mulligans before you... Yep. There's, there's, there's uh, something decide be, on the battlefield. There's so. definitely something to be said about that. So yeah, yeah um, obviously because you, uh, I think it's shields a, it's, and a special are better a, than just a, a special. It's a play mistake. I think I've actually seen a few people make. Oh, really? in that, no, no, in, in, not a play mistake, but maybe a slight rules error where they do that. It, but it's like they'll say, "Oh, I'll choose your battlefield." And they haven't done the mulligans yet. Mm. But the important thing to remember is you don't get the choice. What you get is you're assumed to have won the role. Yes at the time the role would happen. Yep. So everything happens in, in sequence, in order the same way it would normally. Yep. But the role is just a million for you the role, to for them. Exactly. Yep. Anyway, so we'll jump back in, uh, assuming they're uh, they're ready for, for game two. Uh, it, um, this, is, this isn't turn two and we, we haven't... Phasma's alive, right? Yeah, good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ah, uh, this is awkward. <laughs> uh, right. Good. I'm glad we got there. Oh, um, I'd be I'd be so nervous if I were in their position right now. They're playing like, for flights to the US, right? Yeah, now. they're playing for a two, three thousand dollar prize. Yeah, and they're in a room ten meters from us with people surrounding them, watching the, every single play they make. And the poor and the, the poor buggers have me scrutinizing. Them. Yeah, I feel sorry for them. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it's an important thing to keep in mind when, um, like, because mistakes happen in every game always, and if people make mistakes on these tables, it's like they're feeling it more than us. Yep. Oh, definitely. I mean, like, nerves are a big thing here. Like, they're playing for it, it's a it's a serious prize. Yeah. It's a serious prize, and I mean, when you consider like it's you know this is a it, it's a nationals event, but mm. it, it didn't cost a huge amount to enter. No. It's like it, not a lot of upfront costs for a massive payout. Yes. Yeah. It's awesome. No, it's, it's it's awesome. Um, Eric Luke jumping in, in the chat. Is, uh, Hi guys, hope it's a great event. Had to work this weekend. Very sad I missed it. Missed oh. it too, mate. Uh, hopefully you'll be there next next year. In the yeah. meantime, we've got regionals coming up this season. Yeah. In the early uh, start of next year. Uh, and then store champs as yeah, well. Sure. Coming up after that. Oh. So. Uh, so I'm glad to. I'm glad that you guys are able to enjoy. Uh, to enjoy it, even though you're not here. Yeah. Um, you have to sit, sit and throw peanuts with us. Yeah. Throw peanuts at us. <laughs> That's right. Which we then deflect onto them. Uh, uh, Gordrak requesting some deck lists up on the screen. I think that's a good idea. We can take a look at... Yeah, uh, yeah, we'll get, grab the list up again. These guys' sure. list before we jump into game Definitely. two. Looking at Blake Moody's list, uh, it's FN Kylo. And if you guys are home, by the way, all of these lists are up on tauntable.net. Yes, we will get uh, a link on the front the, page. There the is the a link well. to this event. Uh, all the lists all the stats. in the top card, all the stats is what cards are played the most yep, across the, the weekend. Yep. So uh, take a look at that. Yeah, there we go. So there's a link to all the analytics of the event. Um, you can see the breakdown of the cards, the decks, the characters, the colors, everything. Yeah. So all looking right. at Blake's list, I love... Like, this is a bit standard for sure. FN. So when I say I love, uh, you know, it's not like it's spicing yeah, a new check or anything. But two logistics yep. uh, and two copies of Enrage. Yep. Just ways uh, to get the money to play really, the upgrades. Exactly, yep. yeah. It yeah, lets you, you play a bit more of yep. a mid rangey game. Yep. The thing that, that um, is somewhat newish in the FN decks, well, not newish, but I mean, the sound, you, sound the alarm's definitely a, a... It's yeah. a bit of a meta call. It's not an amazing card. It's not a bad card, but it's it's grey it's gray it's dice mitigation. grey, and it costs zero. Yeah. And like, when you're yeah. spending two or three resources, you know, so every other action around. for weapons, yeah. when you're spending resources for your dice yep. as well, yep. uh, zero cost removal is at a premium. Uh, definitely helps um, against the, obviously Kylo map mirrors, mm. and it does help against the uh, the Anka uh, Thr Thrunka decks. That's the, right. Because Thrawn against this deck is never going to name zero. They're never rolling in saying zero. Well, actually, no, it doesn't help. I'm talking crap. I'm talking crap because it only rerolls dice showing damage, so it does absolutely nothing versus Anka Thrawn. Ignore me. I'll be over here. Idiot. All Idiot. Right. All right. <laughs> oh. uh, Blake has his FN in pool. He's got a melee showing on the Vibra Knife and on FN for a cost, which he has the money for. He also has a colored eye showing uh, swords for cash. Yep. Um, looking a bit stretched there. On David's side, he's got Phasma in the pool and Vader in the pool, yep. uh, notably showing two melee damage on there. So the 
based on the board state, the Vibro Knife was played, rolled in, resolved for a resource. Looks like it, yeah. And then on the ambush action, FN was rolled in and is now yep. currently showing. Oh, it's such good value. Playing a, playing a Vibro Knife for one and just getting in there. <coughs> yeah, definitely. It, um, there's, like, wor there's worse cards. Yeah, like I mentioned <laughs> this in the last match, but like FN's uh, strength. Comes not only from randomly hitting damage, but just like getting incremental bits of advantage yep. with like a, a shield or a resource here yep. and there. It's just squeezing more out of your cards. Actually, who won? Just out of curiosity, while this is still in its embryonic stage, um, who won our set of um, legends? Love uh, legends of uh, legendaries. Yeah, cool. We'll send the question off, I'm and uh, we'll, we'll get an answer in a I'm moment. Curious to find out if uh, if any of our named, like anyone we saw on stream yesterday, or any yeah, 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 could, any cool well-known players, be cool to see. cleaned up a, a set of uh, Empire at War legends. Yeah. Um. Uh, Sean Chong took it out. Um, yesterday he was playing Pomaz. Uh, he's one of the Brisbane guys as well. I um, wouldn't be surprised if he was playing the same thing uh, today. So congratulations, Sean, for taking out the. Uh, uh, side event, uh, the second chance side event, winning yourself a full set of Empire at War Legends. Oh, that angle! That angle was uh... <laughs> ouch. Yeah. So, so David making full use of anger <laughs> there. That's so good. That was uh, that was as as uh, as Deck One Hundred and Four said, savage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. That that yeah. I, I do like that card. Um, does he play? It's interesting. Does he play any other cards that, that, that facilitate the the? He blanks? plays manipulate. Yeah. So he does play. Yeah. yeah. Of course he does. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. So the angular. Ang it's manipulate good. Like angular you've got thing. some dice in David's deck, such as um, Sithalicron and Dark Council, that have the blank sides on them. Yep. Um, more than one blank side, rather, uh, which do help facilitate cards like anger. Yep. Um, and even like. I wouldn't be surprised if in iterations of this deck, Meditate is played um, to focus things to specials, sure. which is really cool. Yep. Um, here we can see Vader special uh, hitting FN for another three and popping off one of his own shields. Yeah, and also the Holocron. Yeah. Oh, the Hol yep. Holocron blanks. Yeah, it's pointed out by uh, str str Stranglebat. <laughs> hey, Stranglebat. Stranglebat. Hey. The, uh, that's the training partner. The yeah, training yeah. partner. Hey, man. That's a great handle. Uh, Sean Chong was playing Throng card today, not Permaz. Uh, winning the side event. Nice. Yeah. Congratulations to him. Congratulations to Sean. Um... <laughs> Deck 104, commenting nobody was listening to the Ewok horn. <laughs> they blew the perimeter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the alarm, the alarm was sounding. Yeah. But no one cared. No one cared. <laughs> uh... All right, Dave, pitching for a reroll here. Scoring himself a special on Vader and some damage on Phasma rewarded heavily. This might actually be a so two damage. Uh, yeah, no, da five damage. It's a big turn. Big turn. It's not dead. It's five damage. Oh, so the, still got the saber as well. Has of the course. saber, yeah. not enough to kill, but it's enough to put a lot of pressure on him. It's weird. I actually think that in David's list, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of the card. I actually think that he should be playing uh, hate. Just, oh, yeah. for, just for that extra, that because it is a very fast, very hey, it's, strong. Hey, it's a weird card, man. Like it's great in your matchup against Thronka and Control X, but against in this FN, I mean, just doing their job for them. But you're faster, <laughs> and it's a May. It's a May trigger. It's true. It's true. There's a there's an argument for it. I'm sure. And, and it has redeploy. Yeah, it doesn't go away. Yeah. Okay. So right now, for instance, uh, I mean, like obviously you wouldn't be you wouldn't be putting on the on the character that's taking the damage initially. Mm. You put it on the other character. Yeah. Or you do put on the character that's taking damage initially, and then because of the redeploy, you get a few activations out of your hate, and it doesn't feel bad if you manage to trade that character with another character. You've still got the hate. Yeah. Right. I, I like that card. I, I, I champion that card a lot. <laughs> um. So what do we got? The damage was dealt. All right, first action, Blake Moody is going to put his saber on the bottom. Oh, wait. No, he's, no, he's overriding it. Cool. Well, that is greedy as... It is. That's greedy. Blake, you're a greedy man. We've seen Blake do this twice today. He has discarded the lightsaber just to try and squeeze some extra di uh, extra value well, I think he figures, out of FM before he dies. I think, well, here's the thing, right? I, I, no, I like this. It's not greedy. 
if he realizes that regardless th those two health points probably yeah. not going to keep uh not not going to keep him all of david's sides do three yeah well, gonna, but that not going to keep him alive might as well play a redeploy lightsaber yeah and get a resolution out of it first that's very true i, I like this play i think i think the short-sighted play is to try and heal yeah keep him alive i think the correct play is, is what blake actually did yeah it's actually not greedy i take that back I'm allowed to do that, by the way. <laughs> I can make sweeping statements and then take them back. It's fine. <laughs> that's why I have the. That's why I'm the one wearing the headset. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, all right, Blake firing off the lightsaber throw. Yep. With the modifier and pull. Yeah, modifiers and pull. Getting two damage into Phasma. So David rolled in, did not show damage on Vader. No. Um, yeah, this is good. So if Phasma rolls in here, Blake has the ability to remove a dice Phasma by... Phasma also whiffs. Ooh. So he's going to get the opportunity here to roll in FN and maybe show a bunch of damage, which he does. Uh, it doesn't have the resource for the, for the three damage. The resource is there on the die. It's on the die. However, keep in mind, it looks like David has four solution on Phasma still. So that plus three, yep. oh, sorry, plus two modifier isn't... Uh, manipulate, you now have to be worried about the, the Ooh, anger. Oh, yeah. You've got to be worried about the second anger. Well, there's nothing there to resolve at the moment, but definitely something to keep in mind. So it is resolved. Anger says resolve the die, or does it say deal the damage? I'm not sure off the top of my head. I believe it's resolve, as if it were your own. It, so it does say resolve. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So in, in which case, you, cannot, you can never... There is in nowhere... You are, there is actually a rule that states you may not resolve blue dice ever. They, they are non resolvable dice. Sorry? Like. Oh, modifier sides. Gotcha. Yeah, gotcha, mo gotcha, mo gotcha. Modified, gotcha. Yep. modified dice cannot yep. be resolved. There's no. Yeah, any, yeah that's any, absolutely yeah, correct. Anytime the word resolve is used, you cannot use it on a blue die. Yep. They, are, they only modify yeah. other dice. Um, so we're seeing a reroll on Blake's side. When resolving multiple dice, so they modify another die. So technically, they're being resolved. But oh yeah, you're not. Yeah, yeah. Semantics. Um. Right, yeah, I looked blue. away for a moment. I think that was a best defense so on Dave's side. Did I say a blue die? I, I, you I did said say blue, blue die. Yeah, yeah. No yeah for a minute, I was like, are we, just, are we just nerfing blue characters? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, is that a thing? You just can't can't resolve their dice. Yeah, no. Carlo is just useless. You can't use him. But my decree. Yeah. But my decree. <laughs> yeah. Marcus said so. So, you know, that's the case. Back to Thrawn. I'll, I'll have a word with the, with the head judge. Yeah. <laughs> um, so here, David Leslie fired off the uh, best defense, yep. removing the lightsaber special and the two damage to uh, pop his own force illusion. Wow, I've seen that trick before. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, as, uh, we saw that we saw that happen a couple of times actually in the top eight match. Yeah, it's a good combo. Yeah, it's a good combo cool. where the uh, yeah force illusion takes stops the three damage. But here we might just see Kylo taking her out. Yeah, it's risky. Eh. Oh, oh, did he oh. name blue? He, no, he would have named blue. There's no I'm way sure he named red. There's no way he named red. He did look at his graveyard for. Uh, he looked at his discard pile for a while. Well, well, David's got three cards in hand. Two, yep. two are red, one's blue. Yep. Hit the red. Oh, no. That feels bad. It does. That feels bad. All right, so David is focusing Vela into a two. Uh, which is presenting lethal on FN. L. Damn. He also has a boundless ambition. Probably not playing it this turn, though. It doesn't really get him anywhere. Hashtag save blue. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, all right. So all right. So it looks like Blake claimed. Yep. Uh, using Rebel War Room to take out Phasma with his yep. two for one die. And they trade. They trade. So lightsaber redeploying over onto Kylo, putting Blake really ahead at the moment. Uh, so, yep. David re rolling, trying to get something. Out of Kylo, is he? Does he just boundless and keep rolling until he hits a three? Uh, maybe, <laughs> it feels, maybe you do. It feels really clunky. I'm not sure. You, 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 you at least find out what yeah, you've got. You might be able it. to. You might be able to enrage and then do some more tricks. Yep. Oh, he's got a new orders there for next turn. That's huge. Yep. 
the new orders for the new orders is massive so for, uh yeah so new orders being obviously the ability to swap the battlefield and then use the claim ability that's but right. you don't yeah. actually yeah so uh better roll the two yep Delta. Uh, for, after discarding the wrench yep. and uh getting two damage on yep. kylo um so, so yes the new orders <sighs> using the claim using the claim ability but not claiming the battlefield then allowing you to later that turn also use the claim ability yep. when you claim um, and now, given the fact that the current battlefield is not David's, which means when he new orders, he'll be new ordering onto the uh, Empress throne, throne room. room. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And then the Empress throne room will trigger a, Kyle, a, a Vader die, and then he can claim use a Vader die. That's that's well, that's the six damage. Mm, that's that's right. We keep getting attacked by our by, by our general behind us. <laughs> the uh, the tape is given up. <laughs> All right. Uh, but yeah, taking a look at this this turn, we've got Blake coming into it with Kylo, only have taken two damage, uh, and he's currently holding a Vibra knife and a lightsaber, oh, which is Kylo's big, huge against just a straight Anakin. I mean, well, like, with nothing on him at the moment. On those dice alone, you're looking at four, uh, six, yeah, eight, damage. and we'll start it off with two. Pretty good. Shows through two damage currently and a crush one. Uh, Dave is in a bit of a rough spot here. Uh, two damage on Vader, on on uh, young Vader. Uh, so just uh, trying to think through here what uh, some of the lines what could be going through players mind. So he's gonna that's gonna get doubted. That seems correct. Oh oh. Not anymore, right. not anymore. It's wrong. Wrong, wrong play. Incorrect. Take it back. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> yep. Uh, I, I, yeah, now you new orders and do the other one. That's yep. massive. Oh, that's huge. That's absolutely massive. But now you've got to survive the turn. You have no... Oh, you got to sound the alarm. Mm. It didn't work so well for him last time. They, yeah, ignored, no. they ignored the alarm. They the alarm it. was ignored. The village was destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we're looking at Blake with... Eight damage on Kylo, but he's so far ahead on board state. He's got four really powerful dice in the pool, the, still active. Once again, though, the problem is uh, David has now has the opportunity, if he survives his turn, to roll in claim kill you. Uh, not immediately. No, Twelve. Twelve, not eleven. Oh, man. <laughs> That's the Numbers. fourth time today. Numbers. <laughs> oh. Yeah. New colors, it's, it's ridiculous. 17 points for a 12 health character feels... Like, it shouldn't work, right? But that's, that's how he is. Yeah, look. And um, yeah, um, he is such a powerful character. That's why we've seen him as one of our most played characters this weekend. So there's the sound of the alarm going to get fired. Yep. Rerolling everything showing damage. Not everything. Hey. Oh, that's... All right, Blake, with one card left in hand. They definitely... Oh, hit... two cards left in hand. They definitely heard the alarm Three? that time. Some number of cards. Some number of cards. They, they definitely heard the alarm that time. They heard it. That's right. Um, Blake is still very much alive in this turn. He can keep does, discarding to reroll. Does Sound the Alarm say all dice or any number dice of dice? showing damage. Any number of dice or all dice showing damage? I believe can it's we, any number. Can we just confirm that, that that's actually... I believe it's any number. I, I'm assuming he played it correctly, but if it is any number, that's fine. It is any number. Okay. We just wanted to confirm that because I, I had it in my head that it said all dice okay, showing sure. damage. Yeah. All right. Rerolling here. We're seeing that... Pay side on the lightsaber again, and the modifier side from the vibrant knife, and two resources, and the resources to pay for it. Uh, that brings Vader to nine, so that brings Vader to being dead on a Kylo activation, act or dead. even just to reroll one of Kylo's dice. Or he's gonna consider it. He's gonna doubt. He's gonna doubt. He doubted. He doubted oh. correctly. Oh, that's huge. It feels bad. Doesn't matter. I think you just reroll again, and you've got so many opportunities to do damage here. You keep the two damage. You keep the two modifier, and you reroll both of Kylo's dice. Yeah, I agree. It's a one in three of hitting a side that you can resolve, and then in, if you, if you hit the two that you can't resolve, then you you've got a chance of hitting the resource on the yeah. other die. Yeah, like I think re, I think rerolling here is correct. I don't He's know got what, one card in hand. I don't know. Mm. Play, playing these cards close to the mat, don't know what they are, but it's a tough call. The room has gotten very quiet. It has our, our our voices may have dropped a little bit because yeah. we're just trying to not not be. Over yeah, we're not that far away from the feature table, so if we start yeah. yelling out. Oh look. Is the electroshock? Yeah, <laughs> and somebody's gonna. We're, we're we're pretty far away, but sound does carry, and we just want to be careful not to uh, not to influence the game in any way. Um, 
Right. Oh, it's, it's tense. It's very it, tense. It is tense. Like at this point, it's I, I've said it a hundred times today, but it's anybody's game. Oh like, yeah. All Definitely. of these games on stream in the last few rounds in the top swings. eight have been down to the wire. There's been some big swings. Taking right. the two resources from Kylo and allowing David to claim and have the first action. Yep. I don't know. Oh, oh that's why. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'll pay, yep, pay, pay two health for... Uh, two, for two resources for two health. Two, yeah, yep, absolutely. Two, two resources for two health seems fine. Ancient Lightsaber is such a great addition to um, the Kylo FN deck. It certainly is. Uh, thanks to Empire at War and most blue decks. Yep. It is a good card. It is a so good, solid two-cost upgrade. Going into this turn, we kind of look like we're at the same position we were last turn. We've yeah. got six health on Kylo, Little bit four on Vader. I think a bit of damage got through on Vader, did it not? Or am I yeah, a couple did. The thing is, the Kylo, Kylo's ability doesn't go away. Mm. It doesn't go away. It doesn't. I think we're just confirming what actually happened at the end of the last turn in terms of the lightsaber. Yeah, I think it was shortcutted, so all, all, all the spectators are like, Oh, okay. He cheated. He yeah, took two yeah, health. Yeah. Off. What's he doing? <laughs> he put a card on the bottom of his deck. What's yeah, he doing? Yeah, fair enough. It's always better to check. Yeah, um, it's a bit hard. So to here we see Blake hit on the Kylo yep. activation, bringing Vader to six, so which leaves five remaining. David with nothing amazing in hand has another sound the alarm. But that's the only mitigation that he has currently. And hmm, so showing currently showing four damage. Yeah. Well, that's one short of lethal. Um I think I think you re roll I would resolve the four personally. Yeah? Yeah, I'd just resolve it. If it's your action. I don't know whose action it is. Yeah. Is it Blake's action current? Is it Blake's turn or is it So it's currently so it's currently David's yeah. turn. Okay. Um So he's he's debating whether or not to sound the alarm yeah. now or wait for the re roll. Yeah, it's it's a tough call. Sounding the alarm on two is pretty scary. I think he's considering re rolling here. He's got two damage showing on Vader. Um hmm. Alright, he's going to re roll. He's going to re-roll the two. He's just going for the so three. He wants to get a three because then the claim will threaten another three yeah, for right. the kill. Wants to get the, the so he saw the special there. So if he can special, his next action yep. is to claim and kill. Okay, I agree with Depending this. Depending on Blake. I has. agree with this play from Blake. Yep. Uh, resolve. Yeah, see, now this is a real rough spot for David. What? Is he re-rolling for shield? Oh, he can no longer special, of course. Maybe that's a mistake from David then re-rolling for the special in the first place, knowing that if he took four, he couldn't special. He was looking for a three, either way. Yeah, but, or the yeah. three, yeah. David is in a rough spot. Yeah, so he can't claim for the special. He can no longer claim the special is off Ooh, the table. Oh, yeah. Special is off the table, and if it goes to the next turn, Blake has a very good chance of rolling in and simply killing Vader. Vader's on ten. Oh, it's huge. So David's literally just looking for the two threes at this point mm. to kill Kylo. Yep. I think that's his only out. He's, David's Without doing, uh, perfect knowledge of these two's hands, David's that's what it math. looks like on the surface. Hmm. No, he did. Hmm. And see, Blake's holding a boundless logistics, no removal, yeah, so uh, one HQ is, and white, one right bat. And, the thing is, David... Mm. Purely out of interest of speed, David tried to wanted to just roll in and activate Vader as fast as possible. And now he does actually have a Dark Council in hand. But, oh, okay. Uh, well, then again, for the two threes, you need the money. Yeah, I was going to say that yeah. it costs a resource, so he couldn't have got the two threes anyway. So Blake but, doesn't have removal. David doesn't know this, but if David can hit the hit the three and the three, it's a long odds. It's long odds. Um, mm -hmm. Somebody's going to jump back in the booth. I think the players are discussing something. I'm quite sure what. I think we just wanted to cut back for the suspense, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, about well, yeah, it's very tight. Um, yeah, it. You're just re-rolling for the three. There's yeah, nothing else you can do. It, right? It's come down to that. I think. I think. I don't think there's an out. I don't think there's a play that can be made by um, 
uh, by David that will and, allow him and to Blake survive. Blake still has two in the pool. So yes. Blake will be re-rolling Blake, those Blake, at the same pace. Blake still has that... four cards in hand and two dice in the pool. That's right. So Blake's going to be looking for damage on his Vibro and Color die. Yep. At the same time that David is re-rolling for his three. So, so did, I was wondering, just, just confirmation, what were the players actually discussing at the table there? Oh, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. So Blake takes it. Blake is the champion. Oh, well, congratulations to Blake Moody. Takes it. You can hear the applause there. Blake Moody is the Australian national champion yep. of 2017 and our first Destiny national champion. So congratulations. Uh, he took it. <laughs> he took it. He came from WA. He came all the way to Victoria yeah. from WA. That's, that's amazing. That's awesome. That, that, that's absolutely incredible. Yeah. Because, man, it would st think, like, I forget about winning, but imagine coming from all the way from WA and then yeah. just bombing out. Yeah. That's got to suck. No, this like, guy is a one man storm, comes from WA, yeah. takes out the whole thing. Yeah, cleans up, man. Zero fast. Just, just, just cleans up. <laughs> it's incredible. Oh, that's oh. incredible. Thanks so much for tuning into that final, guys. Don't go away just yet because we'll be interviewing yes, Blake. Definitely. And uh, we might interview David as well. Yeah, yeah. We, and, we'll, um, we will definitely be talking to both players uh, about, their, about their, their experience, their, their deck. Um, yeah. Like, much more content coming up. Yeah, for sure. Thank you very much, everyone, though, for watching and staying with us through those games and putting up with myself. And myself. No, you're fine. Oh. <laughs> uh, um, thank you very much. Uh, look, honestly, the last game, they were a little bit anticlimactic. At the ending, it kind of just sort of ground to a halt and then finished. But top-level play from both players. Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, like yeah. Blake playing like an absolute professional, David as well. Yep. Um, both with complete knowledge of their decks and the fields. It was really, really awesome to watch. Yeah. And all Destiny players could grab a lot of awesome lessons. It was a pleasure. From watching it has been a pleasure. I've seen around. Obviously, I've been here for two days commentating a lot of Destiny, and it's been an absolute pleasure to watch mm. all the matches. Um, I hope, uh, that said, I hope that FN becomes a little less prevalent. <laughs> a lot of FN. Uh, he is very good. Uh, I don't know if it's the best deck, but it's definitely the most represented deck. Yeah. Uh, which inherently means that it's more likely to win than any other deck. Is Because it's a good deck. It's a very good deck. It might not be the best deck, but it's the most represented and it does well. Good tournament deck. Good and tournament deck won. and it won our tournament. So that won. is a very fair assessment. Yep. Um, so I think we'll take a short break. Yes. For the meantime. Yes. And, and we'll be back with an interview. That's it.